hi my loves thank you so much for visiting my channel i really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are returning thank you for your love and support i really appreciate it this is a timeless collective reading for all signs whenever you hear the message is when you're meant to receive it this message could be related to anything i hope that it guides you within so that you do not go without keep in mind this is not a personal reading Please only take the messages that resonate with you. Signs and gender may be mentioned throughout the reading, but energy is fluid. He could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah. I just saw the devil, the six of pentacles, and here is the tower. Oh, man. Queen of wands. Ten of Cups, I just saw. The Knight of Wands. I'm really seeing something here. The Tower. <clears throat> Somebody could have a Queen of Wands in their family or connected to a family that has done something unfair, unjust. Someone here has made a deal with the devil or, or someone here has some type of jealousy, envy, obsession or something. Let's see. The King of Pentacles is here. Could be a Capricorn involved in the situation. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. There's some kind of truth or clarity coming out here about family or about money, finances, security, stability. The Seven of Pentacles here. Somebody has been waiting to receive something. <clears throat> Someone could have done something. Queen, it's Queen of Wands. Someone here was very much invested in receiving something from a person or from a family or a group. Six of Wands. Yeah. Wow. Three of Swords and the Death card. Exactly. Someone was expecting something to go well. And it's, it, that's not what's happening. You have here the High Priestess. The High Priestess, the Three of Swords, the Death card. What's coming in is justice from something from the past. So with the High Priestess out here, there's some kind of secret that's coming out. <clears throat> Somebody could have done something to a person who was a High Priestess. But again, you have the Three of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Justice. There's going to be justice for something that was done in the past. The Knight of Swords and the Chariot here. Eight of Cups. Somebody could literally be like on the run right now or trying to get away. Yeah, I feel like somebody tried to run away from karma or even from some type of legal situation or they will try to run. It's not going to work. <clears throat> this energy has been coming out a lot for the last few days, if not weeks. And it's, it feels like a past situation because I can remember reading this type of energy well over a year ago. And it feels like now some of these things that were done in the dark, they're finally coming to light and people are receiving justice for it. <clears throat> Something here was buried. Um, the Seven of Pentacles, when I see this, somebody tried to bury something. They tried to... This, this could be spell work or someone tried to get rid of some type of information or evidence. Something here is not right because there's a secret. Somebody thought that if they got rid of something, that they were going to have some kind of victory or success. I feel like someone wanted to break the heart of this high priestess energy. And this is backfire now. <clears throat> Somebody definitely tried to bury something or there's something here hidden about a death or some type of ending. There's a cause of, of an ending or a death that someone is constantly trying to cover up and hide. It's coming back out. I, I just keep hearing you can run, but you can't hide. Somebody has been trying to run. Yeah, the sun. The eight of wands and the five of wands. Something here is being illuminated. And it's like ricocheting right back to somebody. And this is very fast moving energy that's going to cause a lot of chaos, conflict, there's a lot of drama coming from a situation here. You have the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, the Fool, the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> 
seven of swords i feel like somebody is in a situation they could be aware of something and they're holding back there's someone if this is a group or a family somebody knows some information and i feel like a person feels as if someone is going to be on their side or defend them and they're not there's a lot of betrayal here even in these this group of people who may have worked together Somebody is this emperor, four of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Someone here has held back money, an offer or an opportunity, or they told someone that they shouldn't do something. <clears throat> here, my, my throat is acting up again. So, yeah, somebody doesn't want a message to come out. Someone here thought that they could try and withhold information. This even feels like it could have possibly been even a bribe. Like someone has paid to try and keep a person quiet. Yeah, three of pentacles here. Somebody has, has paid a lot of money to try and get rid of someone or to keep someone quiet, to silence a person because they're afraid that something that they did in the past is going to come back up or come out. <clears throat> I can't stop looking at this Seven of Pentacles, though, on this death card. Somebody read look, the Emperor and the Empress. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. The Ace of Cups. Hmm. See, somebody has some type of partnership or union coming in, and it's wish fulfillment. And this is exactly what I said yesterday. For some of you, you have brand new situations that are coming in. They may seem like they are delayed right now because there's something from the past that involves you in some type of way that has to be balanced out. Somebody has done something to you or to your person. This is something that has already occurred, I feel, but you're about to finally wrap this cycle up. It's like you're going, you're getting justice for something and you're about to go into something brand new. Somebody could have been trying very hard to stop you, but the Empress, the Emperor, the Knight of Cups with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, somebody here is ready to have wish fulfillment. I feel like for many of you, you have a, a very beautiful offer or an opportunity that's coming in. It's being saved for the right time. It can, you, you can't receive this just yet until you get justice in this situation. And somebody here knows that you're about to receive justice. And that's why they're trying everything to stop something from happening. Because you receiving justice means that they receive justice as well. However, they're not receiving. I mean, you receiving justice means that they automatically get karma. <clears throat> So the reason, because something is, this person, something in their life is dependent on how your life goes. That tells me that someone here has stolen something from you. They're, they're trying very hard to keep your truth out. <clears throat> They've stolen something from you, whether it was something financial, it was energetic or whatever, but something has been stolen and it's coming back out. If somebody stole property from you, money or anything else, if you find out about it, right, and you receive your your um, justice, that's instant karma for this person. Someone could possibly lose everything because of what they stolen from you. It just depends. For some of you, like I said, it's something energetic. Somebody has built something with your energy. If you figure out who this is and you call judgment, somebody already knows exactly what's coming from them. It's, it's going to be very, very bad. You have the three of swords, a tower, and the death card. This could be somebody facing some terrible, terrible health issues or even a serious ending. And you have the justice card here. So when you see the three of swords, the death card, the tower, and justice, something here is blowing up in someone's face big time. And they know this. And it's coming back from the past. Someone, something that they did in the past is truly haunting them right now. They're like, oh my goodness. So I feel for many of you because somebody did something to take someone out. It was death magic or whatever. Somebody is very afraid. If this comes back around, they already know what the outcome is because they know what they sent out for you. And with the three of swords here, I'm getting that this part, whoever did this, they've done this multiple times. They've done it multiple times and perhaps it just had not been illuminated yet. The timing wasn't right, but divine timing is on everyone's side now. This is judgment. The lovers. 
Gemini energy. We're in Gemini season now, but the Page of Swords. <clears throat> this could be a lover who has been watching you, possibly trying to send some type of nasty energy towards you. They're very afraid because you've managed to get out of something here. Reminds me of a reading I did a long time ago. I feel like, um, yeah, somebody's keeping their eye on a passionate new beginning. And you have a new choice in love. Somebody buried something. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There has there is been a... Ooh, Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. Strength card. Queen of Cups. Ten of Cups. The Star. Wow. Ten of Cups, the Star. Temperance, Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles. Yeah, that's what it is. So for many of you now, you have some type of divine connection coming in. Someone is in deep regret about this because they either try to do like death magic on you or your connection or something like that. This person already knows now. For some of you, it's this King of Pentacles. You're calling judgment on this situation. You could have once been in a partnership with this person, but now after what they worked so hard to do for you, this person was working to end something in your connections or your relationships, I feel. Yeah. Someone here didn't want you to have equal give and take in a connection, so they tried to make a sacrifice here. Somebody made a sacrifice, and when I was in the pre-shop, I kept seeing the devil and the six of pentacles. Somebody went and made a deal with the devil or some type of dark entity or whatever in hopes of blocking your path to stop you from having love or some type of financial abundance or whatever the case may be. This is coming back on somebody tenfold right now, and they're worried. They're afraid because they see it happening. <clears throat> somebody is watching you. The very thing that they worked so hard and so diligently to end for you is happening. So that means that whatever sacrifice or, or deal they tried to make, it wasn't successful. So that's why justice is here. That means now whatever you did in the past to stop, block, or delay something, you have to pay up now because the deal wasn't accepted. Somebody here has been tricked. And we have so many readings about that where somebody thought that they just had something in the bag and they don't. This is coming to bite somebody in the butt now. And then they try to do a lot of damage control. Yeah, the four of ones. So this is someone that didn't want you to go into a partnership or they just wanted to destroy your foundation. But also this energy is for some of you, there's about to be a change in events. Even if you are connecting with someone, if they've been having a lot of hardships, possibly due to someone attacking you or both of you, this is about to end. The Ten of Swords, this, that's the worst of the worst. Like There's no place to go from there but up. The Four of Wands, someone here is about to make a recovery. I feel like someone has even been sick. Yeah, the four of swords is here. Somebody is about to make a recovery. Someone was trying to stop a person from manifesting some type of blessing in their life. This is someone who literally has tried to do everything to make someone sick. The three of swords here <clears throat> cause mental health issues, heart issues, a tower, just a lot of, you know, inconveniences in someone's life to bring about endings. But justice is here. Somebody shouldn't have ever done this. And then, like I said, to go back and try to do damage control, now you want to try to hide evidence and silence people and everything else. This this is over. Somebody has done nothing but dug uh, several holes for themselves, and they're going to fall in the grave if they wanted to put you or someone connected to you in. <clears throat> yeah. King of Cups and the Hierophant. This is someone that is extremely highly moral and, and ethical. King of Cups, the Hierophant. This is someone that is very trustworthy, dependable. <clears throat> this making a decision to come towards you. 
and it doesn't matter what it tastes. Yeah, it's a lot of people are in your energy, but someone out here, no matter how hard or how long it takes to get to you, they're coming towards you. For some of you, this is a person from the past. For some of you, it's someone that you're connected to. It has probably been nearly impossible for your new connection to get off of the ground, though, because of this hex curse or this group or whatever that has been working against you in the background. You're battling against some type of like entity or principle. This is like a some type of Jezebel spirit. It could be, you know, Jezebel speak with a, a man or woman, but it's something that has been like a, a spiritual spouse, a, a dark spirit or whatever. I, I feel for some of you, you have someone from the past. Wow, this is what I, this is the vision that I'm just, I'm getting right now. Somebody has put you done some type of spell work where they they tried to bind you to some some particular some type of spirit. I have a reading about that as well, maybe a year ago, where I, I think in the reading I was saying someone they tried to conjure up like a spiritual spouse, like conjure up the spirit, let's say of Jezebel, and they tried to bind you to it. So this person could have did some type of spell work, you know, used your belongings and buried it somewhere. And you've just been experiencing chaos and conflict. This is like, um, definitely something with earth. So this is someone planting something is what I'm getting. This could be someone burying like a jar or something like that. But what they did, the, the contents in it, they, they tried to bind you with something like the spirit, just a lot of different dark spirits. So some of you for a long time, You've been experiencing health issues, you know, endings in your life, just a lot of chaos and conflict. That's because someone did this. They paid a practitioner or someone to do it or they did it themselves. This, though, is starting to wear off. Because the more that you heal, you know, it is going to help you still to continue to grow. You're breaking out of whatever this hex or curse or spell work is. And somebody knows that this is about to come back on them. And, and whatever they buried, I'm, I'm sure they probably, they can't go back and get it. They can't go back and get it. That's the problem here. Somebody has buried, like, I don't know, something with someone's DNA and they, they try to bind you to something very dark. It's the contents that's in this jar or whatever it is. And they, they buried it to make sure. This is like, yeah, I, I want you to suffer forever. They don't know where this is, but now that you are growing and ascending, like I said, and healing, you're busting out of this jar and it's about to destroy these people because this jar, for some of you, this jar or whatever it is, this is something that has been in place for the last three months, for some of you, three years or more. And I was just about to say three to seven months or years because I saw the seven of pentacles and here at the end is the three of wands. Yeah. But I, I can guarantee you for at least, th for some of you, it's three years. Seven of Cups here. You've been experiencing all kind of illusions and confusion. Different people coming towards you. The Knight of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, different energies coming towards you. Somebody here has tried to bind you to some type of dark, dark energy. And what that has been doing is opening you up to a lot of low vibrational energy. This, they conjured up some type of entity that would, would draw in dark people and messy, chaotic situations into your life so that you will be blocked. This person is going to be destroyed for this. Five of Swords, yeah. Someone here might as well just admit defeat because the Nine of Pentacles is here. You're coming out of whatever this is. And I can tell you, I'm sure it's been difficult. Very, very difficult. I can, re I recognize this energy myself. You're wondering how come you keep running into the same type of person? Why is it that every single time you're about to do something, it ends or it blows up in your face? That's, this, this is spell work. This is a hex, a curse, somebody burying something here. And this idiot now, they're sitting somewhere now and they're stressed out. They're worried. They hate that they ever invested in doing this. Yeah, working with this queen of wands. 
Somebody here thought that they was going to level up in their life. The queen of wands thought she was going to become the high priestess if she went and did something to you. But how dare you think as a queen of wands that you can do anything to the high priestess? That was stupid on their part. But apparently somebody didn't know that you were a high priestess. Now, all of this stuff is blowing up. Somebody is trying to cause car wrecks, you know, with all this movement here. Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords, the Chariot, Three of Swords, Heart Attacks, you know, for friends and family to turn their back on you. Just a lot of chaos and conflicts being sent to your home. This person, this is some heavy, heavy death magic that somebody has done. I'm hearing Voodoo Santeria and um, what is that other stuff that... You hear about Caribbean people doing obia or something like that. These, these are the types of hexes that people put on you and it'll be on you for years. And you'll just be living your life trying to figure out why the hell does it feel like you're living in hell. But I can guarantee you, whoever did this, mm -hmm, it's about to hit them tenfold. Because I now somebody is watching you and they're seeing already that apparently it's not working the way it was working before because you're still moving forward. They should be very afraid. Very afraid. Two of swords. Yeah, the seven of wands. Two of pentacles. The ten of pentacles. Somebody's going to be sacrificed. Three of wands. Look at that. Hangman, ten of swords, death. Three of pentacles. For this deal they made. You made a deal with the devil to sacrifice somebody. Or they made a sacrifice some kind of way. And this was a group effort. This was a group of people. You see them collaborating together, watching your relationships, your partnerships, trying to come together and figure out what they can do or they paid a group of people to do this or whatever the case may be. This is over. That's what's coming in. And for you, it'll be the, the Ten of Pentacles. Look, judgment. <laughs> judgment. You will successfully defeat these people. You will have an opportunity to rest very soon. Three of Swords, if you've been sick or having any type of troubles as of lately because of what they've done, trust me, the devil is about to run these people down. The devil is on the hunt for whoever did this. Because the devil can't touch you. The devil was never supposed to touch you. Anyway, Ace of Cups, Will of Fortune. This is all over something about somebody hating the fact that you love yourself or somebody is coming in to love you or, or whatever the case may be. So somebody literally, this was a hex that was done. 100%. And all these different, yeah, trap. Now somebody is looking real stupid because they're trapped. They're about to lose everything. Whatever spiritual gifts they did have, now they're, they're going blind. It's not working. Now this person wants to get out of this binding contract that they made because they were so busy trying to dictate and control you because you love yourself. Possibly even trying to control the people around you as well. This person wanted to play God in your life. They, you know, they wanted to be the puppet master. Yeah, this was a scheduled attack. Could be a terror reader involved or just somebody that's, you know, spiritual. But you have your scheduled collaboration and fate. And that's what I was saying before as well. Trying to silence people. Trying to silence terror readers who are speaking out about something. Somebody now is upset because they shouldn't have ever been trying to bully this person. Now they want to apologize. See, everybody in this group now is, is, is scared. Because, see, people are taking losses. Now they're like, oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. I, we never should have done this. But you you did it. You can't get this. And, and that's why I said last week in one of the readings. You're going to keep throwing dirt on people around you until you clear somebody's name. And you can't clear somebody's name. These people have went and buried something. Okay? Or someone has, someone has lost their life. Or they bury something or both that has something to do with you. They keep trying to involve you in some type of situation that you don't have any part in. Therefore, justice must be served here. These are people who literally are trying to take other people out with black magic. 
because they're trying to cover up something that they've already done, that they are afraid that the high priest is not loose. This could be happening to a tarot reader. There's a tarot reader, most likely, who is picking up on these things. Hell, it could be me that's picking up on what's happening. If, if you're watching somebody's reading and they start to speak out about what you've done in the dark, I mean, that's, that's what divine messengers do. That doesn't mean that that tarot reader knows you directly. But for you to go and do spell work on one of God's chosen ones, on a divine messenger, and think that it's not going to come back, I don't care how long it has taken, but somebody here has been going through hell for three to seven months or years because of something that has been buried somewhere, more so th probably about three years. But for some of you, for the last three to seven months, you've probably been going through hell, trying to figure out what on earth is actually happening. It's because these people already witnessed or, or recognized that something was happening in your life. Therefore, the spell work or whatever that they did was not as strong anymore. So they went in to do it again. Now you're going to lose your life. Yeah, it's a family that's did this. Most likely a family or a coven. They're stressed out now. What you stressed out for? You wasn't stressed out when you was when you was burying and stuff. You wasn't stressed out when you was going collecting graveyard magic and playing with people with, with dead people ashes. You wasn't stressed out then. So don't be stressed out now. God always say, start making your arrangements. I hope you stole enough money for that. <laughs> stressed out because you have a blessing coming of an eternal love with somebody. This is somebody like literally, you're gonna lose your life trying to keep somebody out of a relationship. You stupid. Like that's just completely mad. It's insane. You're doing, you're going to lose your life or make everybody in your life lose their life all because you're trying to stop somebody from being in a relationship or because you want to dictate and control what another person is talking about or what they're doing. You don't like what they're, what they're doing, what they're saying or, or what you see happening in their life. So that people are going to learn. You keep playing around with all this graveyard dirt and, and magic and everything else. And like I said, when you keep on throwing dirt on people, eventually you're going to learn because somebody out here has put somebody's dead ashes in a jar or, or something and they've tried to bind another person to it to keep track of somebody, to hunt them down or to, um, has, it's like somebody here has a familiar or something. They're binding you to the, the spirit of, of something or someone that is dead and they're using, they're conjuring up the spirit of that person, I'm assuming, to come in and to constantly just taunt you, to torment you. They're using this to monitor you, to track you, to create chaos and conflict. They thought this was a good idea. So they literally have went and I, I really feel like this is some kind of jar. But this jar has graveyard magic and something else in it. That's the reason why for some of you, and if it's not you, a person that you're connected to or both of you, every single time you go to apply for something, it's an ending. You can go driving somewhere and it, it's traffic. Everything in your life, it just seems like it is being, um, like all, somebody has closed your roads. Whenever you go somewhere, it, you're stuck in traffic. It's just chaos and conflict, chaos and conflict constantly. You always feel like somebody is watching and monitoring you because they tried to bind you to something dead or somebody dead. Probably the same person that they got rid of. If we just really want to talk about it, the same person that they sacrificed, they're using their ashes to hunt you. And now everybody is scared because they're like, oh, I thought that you would have, that you were supposed to have been gone by now, right? The heart attack spells and everything else didn't work. So now what are they going to do? You're all going to fall in the grave that you dug for somebody else. I for an hour, right? Every, these people think they know so much about you know, spells and, and magic and everything else. And it's a lot of people who don't get into spells, magic or anything else, but karma is karma. <laughs> karma is karma. And one thing about time, time will always reveal the truth. This is something that's been happening for a long time. It's time for somebody to get their life back. Because whatever this is, like I said, I'm talking, I keep hearing three years, three years, Somebody for three years has been going through pure hell because of a situation with some type of crazy coven or family or whomever.
Yeah, these people are are using somebody here is using the energy of a, of a, I feel honestly like a deceased person because homeless somebody doesn't even have a vessel anymore. They're trapped. Somebody is somewhere trapped. Somebody and I feel like whatever the spirit is that somebody is is conjuring up to go out and do this work, they're tired of doing it because they know that they shouldn't be doing it. Somebody literally is conjuring up. I'm assuming that you would call them like a familiar spirit. And the spirit is tired of working for these people. This spirit is like, why do you keep sending me out to do this? I'm tired of doing it. Why won't you just let me rest? Literally. Somebody here doesn't even have a vessel. Somebody is stuck. Somebody is stuck in a jar or something like that with you. And they're trying to get out. Somebody's like, why won't you let me rest in peace? Why do you keep sending me out to do this? These people are sending this, this dark spirit out to do their dirty work. They're collaborating together. Oh, let's send this spirit out. Send that spirit out. The spirits are tired. They're like, you don't pay, you, you, you don't pay me enough to keep doing this. I have readings about that. These people, they're so desperate. They're going and trying to make offerings to your, to your spiritual team, to your ancestors, to work for them, to come in your dreams or whatever to trick you. But somebody, it's a spirit out here that wants to be out of this contract with these people because they know that they are being sent out to attack somebody that's completely innocent. And they need to watch their back because eventually what's going to happen is the very spirit that they're sending out is, is, is in the house with you, dummy. <laughs> Somebody's going to send a spirit to somebody's house and it's going to get sent back to them. This is somebody using like the ashes of, of their own loved one or something like that. Because I keep hearing familiar. Yeah, they're controlling this spirit. But see what's happening. I, I feel like this spirit is going blind or something. Whatever. Something or somebody is going spiritually blind. And if somebody is constantly trying to astral travel or project, they're going to get stuck. You're going to get stuck doing this. Somebody keeps trying to send like astral project or astral travel out. You're going to use your gift of, of spiritual sight. <laughs> You're going to get somewhere and you won't be able to get back. And that's exactly what these people deserve. I'm so sick of this mess. I really am. And it's really a shame because so many tarot readers, myself included, we go through this. Everybody wants to attack you because of, of a reading. These are not personal readings. Or we've had encounters with these past friends, family, or lovers that sit up there and they, they want to go in and pay all these people to do spell work and everything else. It's ridiculous. Leave people alone. It's simple. Leave people alone. You shouldn't have done the magic. And then you've been given several warnings to, to stop and to retract whatever you've done. They don't want to do that. How many people do you have to bury until you realize, like, yo, stop? It, I mean, it, it really is stupid. And, it's, and the thing that bothers me, it's simple. All you got to do is leave people alone. That's it. Mind your business and leave people alone. And these are people, I'm assuming, they think that they're hiding their hand because they're paying other people to do it. There are practitioners that these individuals are paying who are suffering because they were willing to do whatever these people asked them to do. Literally, the practitioners, the dark spirits that they're using of their family members or lovers or whomever, everything and everybody is turning on this person or this group for what they've done. This is years of heavy spell work and magic, years of hexes and curses. The time is up. These people, should they, they don't need any type of grace or mercy. Any and everything that happens to them, they absolutely deserve it. Yeah. Look at this profession. Somebody, they, they do this. They, for a living, they professionally cause catastrophic and dangerous events in people's lives. Hoping that it's going to bring them some money. This will be money, baby, that you won't get to spend. Because you're going to be spending your time in hell. You won't get to spend this money. Look. Strategy. Here was the plan. Let me send some type of dark spirit to disturb 
these people from coming into a union. I'm telling you. Because somebody's worst nightmare is for you to be happy and have some kind of new beginning. New business, new relationship or whatever. You got somebody out here who probably is already in a relationship trying to fight to keep you out of a relationship so they decide to hex or curse you. And I'm telling you, somebody has been doing something to affect your health, to make you sick. To make you sick, to affect your mental health or whatever. The reading that I did yesterday, was that somebody literally is going through a manic, depressive or, or schizophrenic or bipolar episode. This is from spell work. You sent it out and now it's coming back to you. Those heart attack spells and mind control spells, all of that stuff is going back to these people. What did you think was going to happen? Mm. I don't even know what else to say. I can say, if you know that you're going through a situation like this, don't break before your breakthrough because you're about to see very soon. <laughs> Balance spirituality and practicality. Make sure that you're staying grounded because a lot of people right now are definitely dealing with very heavy spiritual warfare. Look, a personal issue um, reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer, full moon in Pisces. So definitely water sign energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, new moon eclipse. A time for healing and be bold and make the first move. Yeah, call on judgment. Call on judgment on these people. Whatever that means to you. Because I'm telling you, somebody out here, they have a person's soul trapped. The, and, and they're using this person's, this, 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 per, this dead person's energy to go out and do their dirty work because they don't like what's happening in your life. I've, 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 I've seen it before, but it's so clear here. And this person is tired. This part, whatever the spirit is, they're like, I'm sick of doing this. Conflict magic. <laughs> Chaos, cursing you, cursing your health, trying to, to make you weak, trying to send all kind of entities towards you. Like, this is just too much because somebody feels like it is their their worst fear and such a nightmare to see you in a relationship with somebody else. And to be honest with you, whoever you are, I feel like this is happening to both you and the person that you are actually, actually supposed to be with. Both of you have someone from your past that's doing this. Most of the time, people who are in divine connections, your lives are very, very similar in many ways. So if you have a, a family, cult, coven, or whomever attacking you, they've probably gone through the same thing or they're going through it. And this is finally being cleared up. Both of you have been running from these people, I feel, for many lifetimes, honestly. It's like a, a family, a a a cult or coven or whatever. I have a reading about that too, where I said for some of you in a past life, you both were like ran away from your families or from certain groups or organizations. And these people, they're still hunting you down. Even in this lifetime, they're still trying to hunt you down to force you to come back. And they don't like the fact that you're choosing not to conform or be a part of something anymore so now they're like i said sending out dark spirits and familiars and everything else to create chaos and conflict to destroy you it's not meant for you to be tied to these people or this group there's nothing that they can do about that but they're trying their hardest and i feel like all of this was just you honestly god is just using you as, as i don't i guess you all like karmic bait because all these people, they're going to go down for what they've done to you. There has to be a reason for, for God allowing this to happen this way. Because there, there's justice has to be served. I feel like all these people are going to go down at once. You're just going to see everybody just falling off all at once. I feel like this situation has been a huge burden. But all of a sudden... 
your load is going to be light. Your light, your your light is going to finally be able to shine again. Because I'm telling you, somebody has you somewhere buried with something else dead. And that's the reason why all of this stuff is continuously happening in your life. And if it's not happening to you, it's happening to your person. But because your person is coming towards you because they're in a divine contract with you, you're experiencing it as well. Or, you know, vice versa. Take it however it resonates. But this is all because somebody doesn't want to see a person, two people together. It's really, really a shame. But here we are. So, you know, I unfortunately, the energy has been a little bit heavy. And a lot of things are coming out. We are in the full moon in Sagittarius, Earth Angel energy. These people have been trying to sacrifice Earth Angels. And your mission and your divine purpose and what they've been doing in the dark is coming out. So may justice be served. I hate to have to deliver these type of messages, but I know that it resonates for a lot of people. And I pray that you just stay encouraged, but don't break before your breakthrough. Some of you right now, you're going through sickness and all kinds of stuff. And it's because of the things that these people are doing, because they're trying to go and reignite whatever they've previously done because they see that it's not working. But I feel like God and your spiritual team sat back and watched them do this. And he's like, okay, you idiot. Because you tried to, you know, throw this the first time and hide your hand. These people have left nothing but fingerprints and, and evidence behind in the physical and in the spiritual. There is absolutely no way that they can get out of this situation. Half of these people probably know that their time is about to be up. That's the reason why they don't care about trying to make your life so difficult right now. They know. Like, it's it's over and done for them. So just stay strong, prayed up and protected, and allow karma to do what it needs to do. Okay. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.